Welcome to Ballotpedia's Daily Brew, your nonpartisan and unbiased source for political news. Today's May 31st, 2024, and here are today's top stories. New Mexico is holding primaries on June 4th for congressional, state executive, state legislative, and local offices, with a record 42 contested state legislative primaries this year. All three U.S. House seats are up for election, with the second race, be- second district race between incumbent Democrat Gabe Vasquez and Republican Yvette Harrell being a closely watched battleground. In the state legislature, Democrats currently hold a 27-15 majority in the Senate and a 45-25 in the House, with 22 incumbents facing primary challengers, a 10-year high. For the 2024 elections, 110 statewide ballot measures have been certified so far in 35 states, slightly above the average of 105 at this point from 2012 to 2022. Seven new measures were certified in the past two weeks across California, Colorado, Louisiana, Missouri, and South Dakota on topics like abortion rights, legislative procedures, law enforcement funding, and election methods. Additionally, signatures were submitted for 10 potential initiatives in California, Idaho, Missouri, Nevada, and South Dakota pending verification. State Supreme Court elections often receive less attention during busy election cycles compared to those for the White House, Congress, or even governor. However, the country's 52 state courts of last resort play a significant role in shaping the laws and policies in each state, including issues related to redistricting, abortion, and elections. Ballotpedia released a study in 2020 titled Ballotpedia Courts, State Partisanship, which analyzed the partisan balance on each state's court of last resort, finding that 52.5% of justices recorded Republican confidence scores, 33.1 33.1 recorded Democratic confidence scores, and 14.4 recorded indeterminate confidence scores. Subscribe for free to Ballotpedia's Daily Brew to get these stories delivered to your inbox, or click the link in our bio to read online. Thank you.